Hello and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And my name is Marshall Astian, of course. And in the last episode, we went through Turtle Rock. We got the last crystal there, as well as a mirror shield. And if you haven't noticed a mirror shield yet, look at that thing. It's ridiculous in size. I mean, it basically covers his entire body. Look at that. Crazy. Anyway, Astian, we're going to break the barrier of Ganon's tower with our power. And do a little rhyme while we're at it. Anyway, the seven crystals are doing their thing. And when all is said and done, a stairway magically appears into Ganon's tower. I am so excited for Ganon's tower. No, I'm really not. That's a big lie. Because this place uh, really, really sucks. In lack of a better term. Um, yeah, Ganon's tower is, uh, for one, very, very long. It can be very irritating very confusing because um, well we're close to the end of the game and you wouldn't really expect anything to be damn it fucking spike son of a bitch fuck you sorry I didn't mean to say that <laughs> okay um yeah, I don't really know what I was saying. All I was pretty much saying is, uh, Cannon's Tower sucks. It's really annoying. Like, right here, uh, I, I've tried doing this and I get hit every time, but this is the first time that I'm gonna try to use the magic cape. Anyway, in this chest, we get the map. And. The magic cape works, definitely, but aside from that, I really don't know how you would get that without getting hit. Really, I don't. But whatever. Go ahead and flip that switch and place a bomb on it again. And now go through the door. And then in here, go ahead and place a bomb kind of right there so it only hits one of the switches and then in that pot in that skull is a key go ahead and flip that switch and then try and get down here and go inside the portal <clears throat> alright we get a heart there and over here is going to be a block that you want to push to Ah, that's very inconvenient. I'm gonna push it to your right, a chest will appear and you get yet another key. Use your hook shot and get over that gap and go through this door. And then there's gonna be a series of uh, warps that you're gonna wanna use. And that can be pretty irritating, uh, that crack on the door. Don't even bother with it right now. Uh, just go ahead and continue this way. And then to get out of this room of warps, that was your final one right there. So, go through this door. And in this room, it can be uh, a little bit a little bit frustrating. Um, so what I, well, uh, let's see, how am I gonna do this? What I've done before, get a couple of these guys on screen. I want to go ahead and use Ether. Not only does Ether freeze the enemies, but it also shows the path right there. That's not just a void of nothingness. Uh, there is a path and you're going to have to get across it. So, go ahead and pick up the top skull there, but leave the bottom one just to save you a little bit of time, because you're going to need time here. 
So next, get out your fire rod, light that torch, get out your hook shot, go down here, and work your way across this path. Ether shows the path as well as lighting that torch, and that's pretty much how you do that. And then in here, all you gotta do is if you're low on health, go ahead and get this fairy here. Very useful. But go ahead and pick up that skull, place a bomb, all the other cracks on the floor do nothing. Just go ahead and fall down this hole. And you are here. This is one of the one of the one of the gimmicks, I guess you could say, of this dungeon of Ganon's Tower. Is you get to face previous bosses. Notably the Armos Knights of the Eastern Palace in the Light World. But whenever you have the the Silver Arrows, it makes this boss that much easier. And now, go through this door. Rather, we gotta go up here first. Because in this chest, we have the big key. And then in the two other ones, we have some more bombs. And ten more arrows. Alright, now we can go this way. Come on, Link, make it easy. There we go. Good boy. Alright. If you want to go ahead and dash into this wall, there are some more fairies in here that you can catch. However, all of my bottles are full, so I'm just going to go ahead and collect one right quick. And when you're done there, continue upstairs. And inside the big chest, we get the red mail. This provides even better protection than the blue mail. Ouch. Get out of my way. Alright. And now, go through. What the hell? What the hell? Go away, you're not helping. What the fuck? Why, why, why do I not have a key? Where? <sighs> Crap. Please be a key in here. Okay, that's the key that I was missing. Alright. Damn. Almost threw me for a loop there. There is a key in there that you should get before you can go around and before you need to go through this door anyway. Um, some more bombs, some more arrows, and do not, I repeat, do not pull that switch. It is a trap, like many others, and bombs, I believe. I believe it is bombs. Fall down and try and kill you. So instead, put a block from your camp area on that switch and we are inside one of the rooms that I consider one of the worst, one of the more irritating rooms in the entire game. We have tiles, an anti-fairy, wall master, or floor master, one of those, I never remember what it's called. And if you swing your sword, you got some fire beams come out of those things. This room really, really, really sucks. If it wasn't for that damn fucking hand, it'd be a little bit more easier. And that was actually not too bad. So, when all is said and done, you get a chest, and inside you get a key. And, in this room, still that damn fucking hand, but, Oh, I didn't really want to get that right now. Anyway, use your fire rod to light all four of these torches. And you gotta do it quickly. Because that happens. Uh, and uh, you pretty much only have two times to do this. Unless you have uh, magic, which I really want to use my potion on this. It's kind of a waste. So, hopefully, I can do it this time. I don't care about you, Spiky Ball. Just go away. There we go, awesome. So go through this door, and inside there's a conveyor belt with a switch. So we need to get through here. So, you would imagine that you could place a bomb, 
and that it could do it. However, even if you were to rush, ooh, gimme, 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 gimme. I want that. Awesome, thank you. Well, a bomb doesn't do it, so go ahead and get out your can of Samaria, place a block, and detonate it. And you gotta do this twice. And that is how you get through there. Alright. So in here, there are gonna be four chests. I recommend getting rid of these things first and getting all three chests and leaving the last one until last, just in case you want to get out of this room for whatever reason. But don't even bother going through there, uh, through this portal. Instead, use your magic mirror and go back to the beginning, or at least to the entrance. And this time, we're going to go upstairs. And anti-fairy, do I need you? I kind of do want you. Come here. Come here, little fairy. All right. So, go ahead and work your way across this room. And you gotta kill these things. And these red guys here used to be a problem, but thanks to the mirror shield, they are absolutely worthless now. Um, for that door to open, go ahead and push that block forward. And continue this way. Once again, you need to kill all the enemies in here so the door would open. There we go. Oh, Beemos. Oh, Beemos. Screw off. Alright, now just work your way up to the top. Actually, I kind of just want to... Well, that kind of sucks. How about... No, that's the same. Alright, that's easier. Alright, just work your way up to the top. In the middle pot, there is a switch. Go ahead and step on it. I don't even really want to bother about those enemies. I just don't care. Just make sure you flip the switch, go back upstairs, and through this door. Be careful not to fall off here. And continue upstairs. Now, for the next couple of rooms, I am going to just be using Bombos. Because I do not want to bother facing all these enemies one on one just takes too long and again I'm just gonna go ahead and use Bombos here I kind of wish it would kill Beemos but it doesn't all right continue this way and once again Beemos do your thing This should be the last room. Well, not the last room, but this is the last room that I would use uh, Bombos in right now. And look at that, I lied. There's only two enemies in here, I know I'm being cheap, but you know what? I really don't care. Oh, screw you. Alright, and screw you too. I don't want to be a bunny. So, in this room, we are facing the Land Molas, I believe. But this time, we have one of those things down there that are shooting fireballs at us. But it's not that bad, because pretty much one hit 
or is it two hits? Pretty much go ahead and take care of one of these things. Ah, oh, it's more like two hits, I guess. Ah, damn fireballs messing with me. All right, there we go. All right, that was Land Mola's, and now go through this door. Light all these pots. Or just some more items for you. Let's go ahead and grab those, and when you do, head upstairs. And in here, I like to use Bombos. Just get rid of these guys. And when you do, go ahead and use Ether, unless you already know the path. And can I get that other heart? Yes, I can. Don't fall, Link. Thank you. All right. In here, just go ahead and run across. <clears throat> and once again, a room that I like to use Bombos in. Even though I am running low on magic. But that's all right. No big deal. Anyway, up here is something uh, that didn't really work out the way I'd intended it to. Um, yeah, that was really not... I was hoping that they would all see me and that I would... Uh, and that they would run at me and kind of stay towards the center and the, 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 the floor would fall apart and they would fall down. But, didn't really happen. But, no big deal. Um, all right, in here. Oh man, I need to light four more torches, but I don't really have any more magic. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and use my lamp and hopefully Oh, well, great. Oh, that sucks. Alright, now you wait for that lamp to go out just so I can get a fresh start. And there we go. I should be able to do with my lamp. I don't know why I wouldn't. And run, run, run. Alright, there we go. There's a full magic restore. And when you're ready, run down here. And quickly get out your fire rod. Light that torch. That torch. And then the top two, before the floor falls apart, and go through the door. Get a key from that guy. And inside the chest we get some more bombs. And even more bombs. I really, really do not need more bombs. But I do need one here, so go ahead and plant one there, pick it up, throw it on the conveyor belt, and that door will open. So in here, let's go ahead and flip that switch. Work your way inside, get the key, go back out, and go down. And here is... Oh, I forgot what your name is. And already, that's just, just fantastic. I already got knocked off. But it's pretty easy to just go back up, just like in uh, Tower of Hera. And with this guy... It only takes two hits with the golden sword. So very simple. And now, a chest will appear across the gap. So go ahead and get your hook shot. And inside is only 20 rupees. So go ahead and move these blocks. And continue this way. Inside here, these enemies are a real pain in the ass. So, all I do 
Ooh, fairy. That works. That was surprising. Uh, these enemies are a real pain in the ass, and the whole room is really kind of annoying, so what I recommend is you just try and get up here. And, finally, let's take on the boss. Ho ho ho! It's great that you could come all the way here, Astian. I am very happy to see you again, but you'd better believe that we will not have a third meeting. Prepare to meet your doom! Alright, well this is Aghanim again. But this time, he's a little bit more difficult. If you haven't already noticed, there are three of them. And uh, I'm waiting for the timing of these guys to kind of readjust. And uh, the real one, you can tell from his shadow, is darker. So, again, a little bit more confusing. And, uh, come on, damn it. The timing is not very good. Alright. I think I got the timing down now. Alright. Kinda took a while, because they were all kinda shooting at me at the same time, and actually it kinda screwed up again. Just avoid you. There we go. I don't know who shot that, if it was a real one or not, but whatever. And six hits with this guy will do it. Those two up there will strike. Ah, oh, come on, give me a give me an orange one, Aganim. Come on. No, that's not an orange one. Oh shit. Alright. Maybe. Alright, that's four or five, I can't remember. Nope. Come on, give me something good. Uh, that could have worked, but didn't. And I think... Alright, I guess he doesn't do electricity here. Ah, shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I can do this, come on. Alright, that might be number five. Ah. Uh, Alright, with one, one heart left. Let me do this. There we go, number six. And there's Ganondorf. He turns into a bat. And away he goes. Automatically. The flute sounds, the bird takes us, and again in the bat, slams into the top of the pyramid, and Link arrives with one heart. Fantastic. So, that was Aghanim in Ganon's tower on top of Death Mountain. That was a ridiculous dungeon in my opinion. It took a very long time, but in the next part, I'm gonna hopefully go find a fairy fountain or something and refill my life and gather myself and probably get some more potion if I need to. I don't think so. I don't think I used any of that stuff in Ganon's tower, but in the next episode, we are taking on Ganon himself. Until then, farewell.